Autobots roll out. <laughs> the best opening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Autobots roll out. Uh, nice. Hell yeah. Uh, welcome back. Welcome yeah. to this fireside chat. We got a new we got a new scene going on here, so gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Photoshopped it myself, you know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but welcome back to Hopeless Romantic. I'm Adrian, and I have an insatiable lust for shifter romance. Hmm, that's fair. And I'm Alyssa. <laughs> I too like paranormal shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, welcome back. So this week we did Change of Heart by Mary Combs, um, and it was about were panthers, which was really really cool. You know, that was that was dope. Yeah. Um, I have the summary, I think you do too. Who do you want to read it? Do you want me to read it? I'll read it. Fuck All it. right, go for it. Fuck it. <laughs> Fuck it. Get it out there. Okay. Um <laughs> as a young gay man and a were panther, all Jin Rain yearns for is a normal life. Having fled his past, he wants nothing more than to start over. But Jin's old life doesn't want to let him go. When his travels bring him to a new city, he crosses path with paths with the leader of the local were tribe logan church is a shock and an enigma and jen fears that logan is both the mate he and the love of his life jen doesn't want to go back to the old ways and mating would irrevocably tie him to them but jen is the mate logan needs at his side to help him lead his tribe and he won't give jen up so easily it will take time and trust for jen to discover the joy in belonging to Logan, how to love without restraint. Yeah, change of heart. Hell yeah, I really liked this book. We'll uh, we'll get into that at the end, but <laughs> for now, let's get into some trigger warnings. Um, there was a decent amount, I would say. Yeah, <laughs> of trigger warnings in this one. I feel like they're they weren't like the typical, uh, you know, just like violence ones i mean that's on there too but like you know they had mm -hmm. we had some some new and exciting trigger warnings <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um if any of these topics you know get to you maybe uh maybe don't maybe don't read this book but yeah so we have homophobia which led to exile which is our next one um stalking there was some kidnapping there was some violence and some attempted essay and unsafe sex, which I know you have on your slides later. We will get to talk about that. Yes. Um, but yeah, those are our trigger warnings for this week. Um, now, should we do hot takes? It's time. It is time for the hot takes. We also have a new hot take screen. So let me switch on over to that. The roast. Uh, We're in the fire. I'm in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. So I actually have two hot takes this week, but I will start with my less serious one. Um, and this is kind of a shout out to Not Always You because <laughs> he definitely said something earlier whenever I was Photoshopping that uh, ties into this. But the main character's name is Logan, one of them. And uh, the name Logan for me has been tainted by Logan Paul, and I could not stop. I couldn't get that out of my head. <laughs> and I just could not take this book seriously because of that. Oh, that's <laughs> so. killing me. That's killing me slowly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you made that connection beforehand, but uh, you're welcome. Just re envision this entire novel <laughs> with Logan Paul. It's unfortunately <laughs> super easy. <laughs> It is. It really is. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah. So that was my hot take number one. The name <laughs> ruined it. But really, Logan Paul ruined it. <laughs> so there's that. Okay. All right, Adrian. Um, now you're in the fire. Hellfire. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, so you had me in the first half. I'm not going to lie. Mm. I liked the very, very... The very first half of this book, I was so very sold. I was obsessed. I was um, 
eating i don't know why i said wanted to say eating the pudding Dr drinking the kool-aid <laughs> eating the pudding uh -huh. um eating the pudding uh, i sure was but um yeah the second half yeah uh, you lost me there a little bit uh, some parts of that so thank you that was my hot take on this lovely <laughs> hot take new hot take day the hot take pudding Got yeah <laughs> all right and then back to me because i had two of them this week we're putting in overtime um this is a little bit more of a serious one but i said that societies that put their breeding kinks on a pedestal are inherently homophobic um, and just for once, I would love a novel or a real life, you know, society that isn't that way and where the two things are not correlated. Mm hmm. Yeah. 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 That was my second hot take. I should read a megaverse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> should I? <laughs> well, <laughs> that might, that will be kind of not a problem. <laughs> At least. That's fair. That's fair. I'm gonna wreck you some. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. We'll, we'll take care of that after the pod. For some <laughs> random fandom that you don't care about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> right. Thanks. Uh, but yeah, inherently homophobic, and I don't understand why that is a thing that always happens. Yeah. Because it's dumb. But, you know. It was very fucked up. Yeah. I agree. Which led to, like, the exile and stuff, too. Like, I... I didn't realize how much, like, reading about the exile thing would trigger me personally. <laughs> because of the situation with, like, my family and stuff like that. So, I every time we read books, I swear it's, like, therapy. Like, I'm like, this is smut. This should not be... <laughs> <laughs> this should not make me this sad but yeah <laughs> but no i mean that's i mean not that it made you sad but i'm i'm hoping you know we're getting bits and pieces from everything yeah healing ourselves slowly <laughs> through porn slowly through this podcast <laughs> through porn yes <laughs> healing through porn <laughs> good <laughs> that's not inherently also traumatic <laughs> No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that was our hot take section. Let's get into our character description, shall we? Yeah. Um, on our next slide here, we have Jin. This is Jin Rain. Um, he's described in the book as having light gray eyes, black hair, amazing skin. Um, and he's thin but still muscular, and uh, the ladies love him. That was a very that was a point they they really wanted to drive home. Yeah, <laughs> that even though he's gay, women loved him and were drawn to him. Um, but yeah, and he's described as being five eleven. Um, and then his they both have like wear panther forms, so he is a black panther in his wear panther form. Um. And he's able to shift way faster than any other shifters. Yeah. Yeah. And he can also do like a partial shift type of deal where he can like flash, you know, back and forth really fast, essentially. And no other ones can do that in theory. Um, yeah. Did you have anything else for him? Uh, no. Uh, you, I think you got it all there. Um, I guess his form had like a special name which was fun for me personally i read a lot of <laughs> werewolf stuff so um i'm used to like alpha beta omega things uh <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this i it was all like the same but you know it was fun to find a new, hack, new terminology hierarchy sort of thing yeah, yeah it was fun That's fair. uh yeah um yeah so I'll, he's called Araya, so just yes. to, cause since I brought it up. <laughs> and we'll get into more to that later, but the Araya's are super rare, like, to begin with. 
Um, but then Jin, being a male Rhea, is like the only one in existence. So I said in my notes that he's like a shiny Pokemon. <laughs> he's, just, he's he's a really rare boy. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, super rare. Not true. Yeah, that's that's fair. <laughs> Not always you says I feel seen. <laughs> After the Pokemon comment. Fair. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> that was that was for you. <laughs> yeah, that was just for you. <laughs> um, all right, getting into our second character here, our main lead. This Logan is Paul. Logan Church. <laughs> yeah, Logan Paul. <laughs> I really had to resist putting him like as the person in the Photoshop. Like, I... I really had to resist the urge to do it. Uh, like, it would have traumatized me, but I, like, un <laughs> I would have understood. It honestly would have been a good fit. Yeah. To almost. Yeah. But, you know, I found this this person who seemed taller and more broad-shouldered than Logan <laughs> Paul, so... <laughs> This worked perfectly fine, but also we did comment on his face earlier. Why, why he making that facial expression? I know. <laughs> why it, he doing that? I his don't know. mouth is so long too. It is, and also his eyebrows are like really straight. I don't know. <laughs> They're just like straight across lines. He looks like he's staring directly into the sun, and he's like a little <laughs> confused about it. <laughs> He's, like, slowly watching an asteroid approach the Earth. <laughs> He's like, what? The mild concern, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so Logan is described in the book as very, very tall. He is 6'5", um, which I put in parentheses, that's hot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's really muscular and has very broad shoulders. Um, and then he is the, I think... Is it Semmel? Is that how they pronounced it? Yeah. Um, another special role. He's like the leader of their tribe. Um, that the that is in the town. Um, and then I said that he like was kind of giving that stereotypical, like, no one's ever told me no before. Everyone just listens to me, like kind of douchey vibes a little bit, but Again, not dissimilar to Logan Paul, but <laughs> <laughs> didn't put him in there. <laughs> I'm just really upset because I was, we'll see later, thirsting rather hard. And now we're like, mm. and it's and Logan now it Paul. It's like you're thirsting for Logan Paul. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry to destroy this <laughs> podcast for you. <laughs> oh, God. I just ruined the book Whoops. even more. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> yep. Um, are there any side characters you want to touch on at all, or do you want to talk about him anymore? Sorry, I kind of moved on. <laughs> um, like from my fine. shame, so, let's run. <laughs> <laughs> there are a few side characters. Um, he does have. I don't have their names written down or anything like that, but there were a lot. Best friend, I'm sure you do. Yeah, there were a lot of side characters, honestly. Um, yes. Was it was Crane the name of his? friend yeah brain um, adams yeah so he gets exiled uh jen does for being gay and being a male rea uh from his old tribe so whenever he gets exiled his bestie is like yo that's super fucked up and he's like i'm a i'm a head out and he <laughs> leaves with him <laughs> yeah so i was like oh he's loyal as fuck like hell yeah good job standing up for you know, your best friend. I very much like that. I um, I love other. that. Um, except I don't know why he sounded the audiobook. Uh-huh. Um, we listen to audiobook, as we've said multiple times. <laughs> and uh <laughs> the voice that the uh voice actor had decided to do for Crane was like Grover from the Mud. <laughs> <laughs> It really was. Oh my god. It really was. I like was listening to it and I was like, why why was this the choice? I don't Right. Because obviously they were doing different voices for different characters, but yeah, that's fair. 
I felt like he could have used that on somebody that talked less, you know, like some yeah, like a side character. A yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But no, he was like, um, this guy, Grover. This guy, Grover, right here. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. I didn't even like make that connection that that's like who it was specifically, but for sure sounded like Grover. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. What other side characters do you want to talk about? Well, I feel like Crane is the most important because he's a real real one. Um, <laughs> Yuri Kosa oh, yeah. is uh like i forget what the title was but uh he is like the pack muscle basically for mm-hmm. logan's pack also i they were calling them tribes i'm just saying pack to pack yeah <laughs> yeah we use those interchangeably here you know <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is yeah yeah um yuri was really cool i felt like he was also kind of a real one and like sort of a became a supportive person for Jin. Uh Jin just hasn't had a lot of support in his life, obviously. His whole family yeah. exiled him. <laughs> Cuz they suck. Cuz they suck. They suck. Yeah. Homophobia is lame. That's right. You're a lame Jin family. <laughs> lame. <laughs> yeah. Um and then yeah, like I said, there was just like a bunch of people. Honestly, they kept introducing uh Logan had yeah. like a whole family. He had multiple brothers, or at least one. Mm-hmm. And then like his mom and dad were there. And uh there was like there were like three other well, okay. There were two other Were Panther tribes in the city alone. So yeah. you met a bunch of those characters. It was a colorful cast. They're they're everywhere. They're yeah. All over. <laughs> I was like, this city is crawling with were panthers. All right. Crawling with them. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh. So those are our side characters. Yes. Another one? Uh just uh Mik- I feel like Mikhail should be mentioned. He's the Sylvan of the tribe which mm-hmm. is uh basically like the teacher so he keeps all the knowledge and stuff um he him yuri and logan are like kind of the in charge of running the tribe but logan is in charge of running the tribe and those guys are just like his direct under yeah that's fair yeah yep yep all right. Well, the next slide is our happy couple together. Also, kind of our setting. Um, it does take place in Reno. So, yeah. You know, I didn't include very many slides of the scenery, but you know, we're in Nevada. We're in Reno. And at least. <laughs> yep. Yep. Makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, there's our lovely, lovely, lovely couple together. Um. And then our next thing we're going to talk about is their wear panther forms. So those look here's good, our, right? <laughs> they look so sassy. <laughs> what a sassy little wear couple! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Uh, um, so Jin is described in the book. His wear panther form is explicitly stated as a black panther. Um, it's very obviously stated in the book. Logan's is more ambiguous and we actually had like a a fairly long discussion and or uh not debate but like you know a discussion about <laughs> there's a hotly <laughs> contested <Logan> issue <laughs> in this house yeah we fought we fought over this no <laughs> no we just didn't know what to put because um so there's like lots of fan art um there's not really like a description that much of his like form but the fan art that we found, like a lot of them, because he was blonde, I'm assuming, a lot of them have just pictured him as a cougar or a puma. But we decided that since he was from Russia originally, that we were going to make him a leopard. Now, here, 
this is educational. We're <laughs> here's here's our little lesson for today. Every week, I swear, I come back and I'm like, let me teach y'all something. <laughs> here we go. So uh, I have this little chart that I made. Um, but yeah, this like tells the breakdown of what actually a panther is. So panthers are not <laughs> an actual like species of cat. They are a melanistic version of either jaguars or leopards, which as you can see over here. Oh wait, I got it there. My alignment of my mouse is off, but anyway. Oh. <laughs> I have to like drag it all the way to the bottom. Anyway. Um but yeah, so the jaguar or leopards, um their melanistic form is a black panther. So that's what panthers are. Um, cougars are all the way over here. They're not even in the same like family thingy. Um, subfamily, I guess, or genus, whatever. Whatever it is. You know, there's the chart. Um, but yeah. So we decided that since he was he would either be a jaguar or a leopard and not an actual cougar, because, you know, we're panthers. We're trying to keep it kind of accurate. Um, and then yeah, so there's a distinction between location so we went with leopard because he's from russia yeah if he would have been from south america somewhere or the americas he would have been a jaguar but he's a leopard the more you know <laughs> <laughs> also this was like fairly difficult to research i don't know why like why is there such discrepancy i don't know could not tell you but this is what i've learned <laughs> i'm so and happy everyone knows Thanks. Also, do you like this background? It's really cute. <laughs> I do. I wanted to say that, but you were talking, and I was like, I'll, you know, this is more important. I'll just let them do that. That's fair. Cat boy, go yeah. meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> yes. All the cat boys. Yeah. <laughs> so many cat boys. Hell yeah. But yeah, so now that you guys have a little, um, a little lesson in Panthers, should we get into discussing our characters and their red yeah. flags all right talk about it up first we have Jin. um this is gonna be kind of a guessing game as to who's first i think it's me it, it is, is. Me. okay dope so i gave him three out of five red flags this time um I said that he doesn't allow himself to find like to have an opportunity to find love um, it very much feels of like there's an air of he's not worthy of love necessarily, even though he is still like proud of himself. Like, I feel like there's a lot of internalized homophobia, if that makes sense, which is fair considering his whole family exiled him. So there's that. Um, I said that he needs to be more open to the idea of love as well. And I say this a lot of times whenever again it's like it's like therapy you know i gotta i gotta self-reflect a little bit so <laughs> again this week another theme that we have all the time on this podcast is hey the main character is really closed off and maybe you shouldn't be like that yeah so that's fair <laughs> um and then also the last red flag i gave him was that he was very casual about being held captive thank you <laughs> did you put that too <laughs> yeah that's fair he just like it was just like another tuesday for him that he was like kidnapped and i was like oh okay it fucking was oh, great <laughs> nope he was so casual and then he just like left and i was like oh okay all right he was like hey it's fine <laughs> yeah i don't know if that was like a like i believe in my abilities like everything will be fine type of thing or what but yeah yeah <laughs> i'm not really sure i'm trying to understand it <laughs> <laughs> yeah for sure um but yeah so i gave him three out of five red flags overall like even if i was like i'm super strong i would be like i am annoyed you have taken me out <laughs> on my tuesday yeah like i was shopping or doing something how dare you i don't have time for this truly <laughs> <laughs> right right I'm inconvenienced at the very least. Yeah. And I'm pissed about it. <laughs> That's fair. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Now I guess we'll we'll talk about these red flags from me. Yes, you are up next. 
I gave him two red flags. Okay, Our dear Jen, Jenny, okay. Jen, Jen. Um, <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> uh, two red flags on his Jenny, Jen, Jen. Anyway, um, <laughs> his uh, first red flag is just the uh, kind of all that you were saying, but I just summed it up as he's a stub- stubborn ass. Yeah. Um, they both just I don't I was like these guys are stubborn and then I was like no they're too stubborn (laughs) red flags red flags everywhere (laughs) that's fair so yeah he's a stubborn ass um his way is the only way um and that is not gonna fly truly in all ways (laughs) they they both have that red flag I'll spoil that now (laughs) They were yeah. both like my way only, and then the other one would be like, "No, my way only." And it was really just like this game of one upping each other. <laughs> yeah, like an eternal power struggle at the end. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, and then my second red flag was he's way too casual about being kidnapped, almost killed, and almost sexually assaulted. Yeah. Just another what? Tuesday. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. I don't know. And honestly, maybe know. he deserved another one for that, but <laughs> Fair. it's official now. Mm, yes. Right. I was less lenient on our boy <laughs> than you. <laughs> he it I was um I was distracted by the hair. It's very nice. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> All right, let's say some other nice things about him other than just his nice hair, shall we? <laughs> his hair. Well, oh, his green hair. butterflies. His hair. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all. That's all you give him. Five out of five for good hair. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I good hair can get you places, truly. <laughs> That's fair. It is all right. you first. Yeah, it is. So I gave him a three out of five as well. Um, I did like that he talked back to Logan a decent amount. Uh, because mm-hmm. no one does that to the leader, and uh, he definitely needed it, I would say. Um, he also was not afraid of confrontation, like, in general, like, not even just pertaining to Logan. Um, so, like, whenever, at the beginning of the book, whenever he's working as a server, um, the group out on the patio is, like, being a little rowdy, and he can tell that they're a group of shifters, um, and he decides to handle the situation himself, and he does so successfully. Yeah. Um, and then the last little green flag I gave him is that his spirit isn't completely broken from being exiled by his family. Like, he's still still hanging on. Still there. <laughs> <laughs> we're still out here. <laughs> yeah. We're still out here. Yeah. That's a good takeaway. Yep. How many did you give our boy? Oh, three as well. (laughs) Yes, I also gave him three. Sorry, hold on. I fucked up. All right, we're back. Nice. (laughs) Okay, not as bad as my 30-minute fuck up. (laughs) I'm hurt. Um, (laughs) Didn't I? Hold on, sorry. Didn't I literally say at the beginning of this that I was afraid I wasn't going to unmute it? That's like I, I feel did. bad because I, I was did. like it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. It's good. It's great. This is my fault. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's okay. We have two. We have two uh, completely coherent copies now because we have the same set. Yeah. So good. Good on us. <laughs> Professionals. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> into your butterflies. My butterfly. Three, three of them. Yeah, they're green too. Anyway, um, <laughs> I really like. I know I just called him a stubborn ass, but I really like how headstrong he is. I like that he talks back to Logan, Paul, and <laughs> I can't. Every time we say Logan, I'm just like Paul. Yeah, <laughs> same. Um, I also like that he's really warm and loving. Mm-hmm. to people like uh it seems like it's some sort of inherentness of him being a Rhea a little bit or at least it's kind of seemed to be projected as that um yeah. but he's just like really loving and sweet to like a lot of people even people that don't deserve it 
Yeah. Um, which is eh, but you know, he's really nice. And he takes care of his uh servers and stuff at his job, like super well. And he treats everyone kind of like their family or like under his protection a little bit, as he recognizes that he is bed bigger and stronger than most of these people. <laughs> Yeah, that's um, fair. And then my other thing was just that he's been through so much. His trauma was very, very bad. And he's been through so much. And I just really liked that he was not hateful to, like, anyone. <laughs> Yeah. Um. I just thought that t- takes like a lot of strength. I completely understand people that go through trauma and are hard and guarded. Um. You know, to everyone, closed off like that. But it's nice to see that Jin can still be soft with people. Yeah. Yeah. His spirit so, hasn't been completely broken. <laughs> that's right. So basically, all of our butterflies are the same, but worded differently. <laughs> Hell yeah, same page. <laughs> we do that occasionally. Yeah. I feel like we either have the same opinions or completely opposite opinions <laughs> about these characters a lot of the time. So that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> same page this week. Nice. All right. Should we get into our favorite scale here? Guess like gatekeep, girl boss, manipulate, <laughs> mansplain, male wife. Hell yeah. I was like waiting to see if you would do it. And you did. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Jin Rain. He's walking in right now. You look fabulous. He does. He does indeed. 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 And I diagnose you 60% male wife, 40% girl boss. Very nice. Very nice. And I gave him 100% girl boss. Yeah. Which is fair. I can see both. That's fair. I maybe should have split them up. But, I know. just... He's literally a male wife. Yeah. Like, like, like literally. His, like his species. Yeah. <laughs> fair. Yeah. So in my notes, I wrote male, male wife literally. So. <laughs> literally? <laughs> I love whatever you say like that. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, enough, literally, love. He is a male <laughs> wife and a girl boss, and we agree on that. Um, so now let's talk about what we don't like about Logan Church. Fair enough. Fair enough. Red flags. Uh, you're first on this one. Go for it. Um, three red flaggerinos here. Uh, for Logan. Churchathy. I refuse Church-y. to say anyone any words correctly. It's Logan Paul. <laughs> hey, it's me, Logan Paul. <laughs> oh wait, no, he's Russian. Um, it is a me. No, I can't do it. Why can't I fucking? I can't do accents unless. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Nick, come down here and do a Russian accent for me so I could copy it. <laughs> Our right. Lord had us just uh, commented and said, "Red flag, he is a dick." <laughs> yes, <laughs> Logan Paul is a dick. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, no, f- fuck, I can't do it. All right, uh, this is a Russian accent. Okay, <laughs> you did it. Good job. I'm so okay. proud. I'm. I'm gonna stop now. I, it was. It felt shaky. Mm-hmm. Um. Anyway. <laughs> My red flags. Yes. Red flag arenas. Go for it. First one. He is possessive. Uh, so possessive. Jesus Christ, is he possessive? Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's my number one, one as well. <laughs> yeah. It's very much like, you are mine. I mean, they're supposed to be like, you know, the soulmate thing. The yeah. Only mates for each other. Um, but yeah, you're mine, and if I can't have you, well, 
like life is not worth living and i'm gonna make sure i can have you like it's not even yeah. really an option there's that like, i can't have you and there's always like an element of that hex kitty cat in my chat is saying that's a green flag for me gosh what the heck <laughs> so fair and there's always an element of that in this in these books i feel or like similar style things whenever you get into shifters and stuff but it was like a lot like it was more than usual to a degree that it yeah that's fair red flag red flag for me <laughs> it can be both <laughs> it can be both that's fair <laughs> it's red like, flag but i'm into it <laughs> um yeah it's like a is that my against... red flag yes <laughs> <laughs> Yes, red, yeah, our red flags are that we're into things that are red flags. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> that makes 100% sense. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> next, uh, red flag for me, he is Simmel and leader of his tribe. Um, but he doesn't know a bunch of, like, the Panther laws. And he agreed to something. He didn't know what it was. And it turned out to be a five-on-one fight to the death. Yeah. Bro, that was wild. You, I was... Ooh. He didn't know the laws of the people yeah. he leads. You know, I almost had a third hot take that I put in, but I was like, that's excessive. <laughs> but my third hot take was going to be, uh, like, that nepotism is really damaging. <laughs> and that Logan was a prime example of that. And again, would have fit with Logan Paul, like, a little oh bit. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> that is terrible. Anyway. <laughs> One and of so that's is his brother. <laughs> oh, my God. No. <laughs> I refuse. It's a self-insert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> my my last red flag is that every time he he would say, I'm Simmel and my word is law, I wanted to punch him in the face, and he's a stubborn ass. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> it wasn't cute. I wasn't like, yeah, I can't wait to challenge you. I was like, I'm going to rip your freaking <laughs> like, face I off. I really want to punch you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Tired of this. <laughs> yeah right those are my red flags <laughs> i agree with that um i think i also oh i gave him one more than you i gave him four red flags um i low-key think i had the exact same red flags as you but i just counted them as more that's fair. because i too am stubborn and it just would not have gone well i would have fist fought him <laughs> it just would not have gone well <laughs> especially if i was Jin and like the fastest shifter um yeah you're getting your face face pummeled <laughs> like it just would not it would not go well <laughs> yeah but yeah i literally had nothing new i just had uh the nepotism thing like he doesn't know the codes doesn't know what he's doing um but like demands to be listened to and that he's always right in my notes i have in caps i'm always right that's it <laughs> yeah same page. Uh, same page. Man, we really are agreeing this podcast. Look at us. Look at us go. Oh, we're, yeah. What the <laughs> fuck? Stop that. <laughs> All right. Let's talk about some good things. Let's compliment the boy, I suppose. Yeah. Let's um, hear some, some of those spicy compliments. Spicy compliments. I think I'm first on this one. Yes, I am. Um, oh my god, not always you said nothing like Logan Paul to bring the homies together. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. <laughs> um, all right, so my first green butterfly is that he's tall with broad shoulders because I want to feel small. <laughs> mm -hmm. And 6'5, damn, that's that's pretty damn tall. Yeah, um, yeah, good for cuddling, broad shoulders, great for cuddling um what else i said that there are some tender moments between him and Jin, because he is like you're mine and he does treasure him um and then another another big one for Jin. he like specifically mentions it uh that like logan asked for permission to touch Jin. Mm -hmm. and Jin said that that's like super important to him because people are constantly all over him and like that was 
a point that was kind of driven home in the thing too as like with the women too like all the ladies mm-hmm. were attracted to him and whatever so but yeah um he asked for permission to touch him and then the last like major butterfly i would say which i maybe should have given him four maybe should count this as two but he like does not give a fuck whether or not jen can produce an heir for him and he like is very very outspoken whenever someone is like well but what about this other raya that you were supposed to marry like blah 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 and he was like no that's not no she's not my soulmate and jen is and you can't tell me shit (laughs) Yeah. So, like, again, it was a good, like, I'm always right type of thing. Like, that, that can be a good thing. That was a good thing in that situation. So, but yeah. yeah. Those were my okay. green butterflies for the for the tall lad. <laughs> <laughs> and I gave him five green butterflies. Ooh. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I was kind of simping a little bit. A little um, bit, yeah. Well, I'll get to, I'll get to that. But <laughs> my very first uh, green butterfly, he's possessive. Mm. It's um, <laughs> <laughs> look, get you I a man who can do both. <laughs> I think it's red hot. flag and green butterfly. <laughs> it's just like one of those things where I think it's hot, but there needs to be bound like boundaries in place. Yeah sort of thing and that's fair it's like right out the gate and i'm still like you know even if i think it's sexy you shouldn't do that to someone who's basically a stranger yeah that's a good point that's fair yeah um my next big my next butterfly i have similar butterflies to you on like the he's big and like has a deep voice and he makes Jin feel safe and he would make me feel small (laughs) and safe and um that he asked permission to touch Jin. i too wrote that down that was very important yeah um and nice and then he also gives forehead kisses which are the best and he uses the nickname baby which is a personal weakness of mine i just really like it i don't know why that's fair um wish i understood that (laughs) but whenever i see it in books i'm like yeah that's the stuff right there (laughs) um and he also this is also along the same lines well kind of you were really impressed with him not wanting an heir from Jin, and i should have put that down but i didn't uh but i did like along that same vein he loudly and proudly claims Jin, Mm -hmm. and he had a previous fiance like you had mentioned and he immediately ends it they're like you know as a simul you can take multiple like wives basically um if one of them is not fertile yeah and he was like no i don't want to do that i love (laughs) Jin." exactly (laughs) yeah um All of these butterflies of mine were from the first half of the book. And like I said, they had me in the first half, (laughs) but (laughs) Logan's actions in the last half of the book turned me off so much. My swarm of butterflies diminished into just five. Um, Um, He's probably okay after he settles down some and then the swarm would return. But for now, he's not the male lead of my dreams. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. There are four yeah. more books. Maybe he can <laughs> redeem himself. <laughs> I hope he learns four. some fucking laws. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope he learns how to rule his tribe. Cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> maybe ask someone, maybe has an advisor that like all like if he doesn't know something, he can be like, like hey. The thing Maybe. is, they literally have a guy that I does know, that. but he doesn't listen to anyone, <laughs> so he needs to learn to fucking listen. No one ever was like, "Hey, you're the leader, and you should know what the laws <laughs> you should are." Know what this is? <laughs> yeah. Do you think that they just didn't say anything at first? Like they're like, "It's fine. <laughs> we'll let him learn his lesson this way." 
I don't know what the fuck they were thinking, but <laughs> he's know, out here agreeing to death matches. <laughs> yeah. A five on one death match is good. It's great. Yeah. Good job. Kudos God. to you. <laughs> All right. On our favorite scale of gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss, manipulate, mansplain, and male wife. Yeah. We have Logan Church here walking in. Doing his little sassy slide. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're up first. All right. I rated him 80% mansplain, 20% girl boss. Dope, dope. And I rated him 60% mansplain and 40% girl boss. So pretty similar vibes. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Him not knowing where Panther laws yeah. and being like, I'm the symbol. I know what's best. That is the embodiment of a mansplainer. <laughs> That's fair. So that ugh. is fair. What the fuck, Logan? Yeah. His uh but you know, not dying in the death match. That was pretty girl boss of him. <laughs> that pretty was good. like <laughs> I won't even give him credit for that. <laughs> okay, alright. I did. <laughs> I'll give him some points. I gave him 20% credit. <laughs> okay. All right. That's fair. It was more impressive to me, I guess. <laughs> How you win my love through uh, Death violence, match. I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fine. Um, and that's your red flag. <laughs> yep. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Getting our own red flags as we do this podcast. That's fun. Yeah. That'd be a fun episode. Let's rate us one time. <laughs> what are our red flags? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man. Oh. oh, that's hilarious. That that could be on a shitty slideshow episode of some sort. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Additional, <laughs> Additional thought time, yes. Um, so we already talked about it a little bit. The first thing I want to talk about is how fucked up exile is and mm -hmm. like how it affects your mental health and how it literally makes you feel subhuman and unworthy. And they use the word specifically an abomination, which I feel like is a pretty common, you know, pretty common term for fellow <clears throat> fellow gays, fellow queer people to uh, yeah. be told um but yeah i didn't realize like how much because i feel like i've not really read any books at least recently that have had that theme but in a very long time so yeah kind of fucked me up a little bit i was like wow poor Jin. i really felt for him you know yeah yeah and i just it sucks like why why would you hate someone for that i don't know doesn't make sense to me but yeah. I'm sorry I picked this time to put chapstick on. <laughs> That's all right. Got to you got to keep them lips in good condition cuz we talking. <laughs> it's winter. And my lips are so dry right now. <laughs> I feel it. But thank you for allowing me to do that while you were talking about something very serious. <laughs> dope dope. You're like I feel like a disgusting creature and an abomination i'm just like I'm putting on some casual. chapstick <laughs> good casual <laughs> um but yeah and then i also said i said kind of the same thing that you did about the second half of the book I, not being as much into it and that there was like weird power struggle type of things going on yeah um but yeah do you have any other additional thoughts? Do we want to bring up the fanfic thing? <laughs> oh, yeah. There are a few things here. All right. Go uh, ahead. Firstly, we'll just get it out of the way. We already kind of talked about it. Um, If you read this book, the anal sex is very unrealistic and unsafe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do not do that. <laughs> do not imitate this book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You will get hurt. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I I don't know. And they I hate that. Like they portrayed it like 
Jen was having a good time, and I was like, "There's just no There's way." There's no way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe Jen's a little pain slut. Maybe it's fine. <laughs> maybe he loves that. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I guess. I mean, I think he is a little bit of a pain slut, but ah, uh, that was that was a lot. Yeah. You're not a wrong. lot of pain. <laughs> You're not wrong. Um, yeah. And then I'll bring this up and then we can talk about fan fiction, I suppose. It's kind of about that. <laughs> okay, fair. The book suffers from, in my opinion, some super weird pacing. And mm-hmm. I think that that's because it was definitely a fan fiction at one point. Um, that's fair. I cannot. There are too many fan fictions literally called this exact title and <laughs> you know there are so many fandoms in the world i can't figure out who it would be for but yeah <laughs> the pacing was just interesting i feel like the author probably it probably started somewhere about 25 percent of the way through the book like mm-hmm. when close to when they meet yeah and i feel like the beginning of the book was probably added first okay because i felt like that pacing was more consistent yeah like maybe they had gotten better as a writer okay that's fair i could see that watch them just watch this be entirely wrong and they contact me and they're like (laughs) actually this was not a fanfic at all (laughs) it was never i would never this is a serious piece of literature (laughs) yeah (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> I would be like, I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Did you have any? I know you had at one point said you might have had an idea. A I have a theory. Because you right. did mention that you think it was a fanfic of some fandom. I here's the thing. I have some evidence. I have things that match up, but it's not all completely accurate. All right. Okay. So, I think <laughs> that this could have potentially... Well, okay, first of all, let me let me explain the little rabbit hole that I went on. So, at first, I was like, hmm, what fandoms even have werepanthers in them? Because there aren't a lot. And literally, the only thing that was coming up was True Blood. So then... Okay. So then, <laughs> I was like, hmm, okay, that's interesting. I'm liking this. That's interesting. <laughs> um, so, season seven... Of True Blood, episode two. The uh, Jason Stackhouse has a dream. It is the the gay scene with uh, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. What is his name? Hold on, I think it's Eric. Yes, Eric. Do you remember Eric, the vampire? He was not a were panther. Oh, like the blonde one. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. You know how okay. tall he is? <laughs> six <laughs> five. <laughs> His character is six five. Yeah, you know how tall Jason's character is. Five eleven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you know, the height matches up. Um, what else did I have? So Jason is like on the show, also described as like a ladies' man, but like with a magical quality as well. How Jen was described because he has like fae ancestry. Um, mm-hmm. so that kind of lined up. Um, what else? They were both, like, kind of athletic. Um, what else? What else? Also, just watching the the scene, like, very much felt... I should probably send this to you. I should have sent this to you beforehand and had you watch it. But I didn't want to, like, ruin this surprise. But anyway, <laughs> the, <laughs> the scene is kind of, like, power struggle-y a little bit. Like, the vibes were okay. pretty similar. Um... But yeah, I so I don't know. Maybe, maybe it could be a thing. And then the the wild uh the wild connection that really is probably a stretch is that uh Logan's last name is Church and Jason has the dream in a church. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's all the evidence I have really. You know what though? <laughs> right. Why did, why did that convince me? Why did that make sense? More. Exactly. <laughs> why did it make sense? <laughs> Okay. Um, but yeah, so were panthers are rare in both of the worlds. Um and like that's the reason that Jason was turned to begin with was to breed. Um 
yeah, etc. So like in the show, Jason doesn't have the ability to turn into a panther, but in the books, I believe he does. From the minimal amount of research that I did. <laughs> so <laughs> Okay. I was like, I've not seen enough true blood for this. Yeah. And then also like Eric's character was not a were panther, but he was a vampire, but he was like the fastest, like strongest, whatever. So there was that, which I mean Jin was in this book, but yeah, I don't know. And then also, the last thing, this is also maybe a little bit of a stretch, but the nightclub was like owned by the Were Panthers and the the vampires had a nightclub in True Blood. So I was like, yep, this totally makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay. that's my wild theory. <laughs> I like it. I the like height it thing lot. really got me. I was like, wow, these are these, like... this man really does fit this description. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm down. That was a good that was a good that rabbit was, hole. That was my wild theory. <laughs> I like I love it. Yeah. Love it so much. Good. Thank I was you afraid you were that. gonna be like, no, that's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> they would never. <laughs> <laughs> Look, fan fiction can be written about anyone. Yeah. That was my biggest struggle was just that like some it could people be anything. think <laughs> I'm not gonna. That's mean. Um, but uh, I'm not gonna specifically give a f uh, a pairing because there's probably fan fiction. And I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings, but mm -hmm. you know, anybody c can think that anyone has chemistry. That's fair. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> there's probably fan fiction written about a streamer in their water bottle. Like, <laughs> good. There's definitely fan fictions <laughs> written about that. Actually, mm -hmm. I'll and say that's that. what this was about. <laughs> <laughs> that's what this book was about <laughs> change of heart they realized that water is essential <laughs> yeah yeah good 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 um let me see here i did have like another kind of like convoluted rant for okay. my additional thoughts yeah um it was mo it was kind of about how i really liked the book and then around chapter 10 i was not a fan of a lot of the interactions between Jin and Logan. Like we said before, they're both fairly stubborn, and there's a weird power struggle going on there. Yeah. Um, there's a scene where Logan agrees to fight to the death with five other people, um, and doesn't talk to Jin about it, and then Jin is like, no, I'm gonna fight to the death <laughs> <laughs> with five other people, not yeah. you. <laughs> yeah um yeah and it goes from like that that argument to like sex to like the fight where they and then they argue some more yeah and then they're separated and then uh logan like is trying to convince jen to come back and there was this uh, part of the book where I thought they were going down this weird like forgive your abusers plot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which they like thankfully they did not do because right. that would have really nailed in the coffin. But <laughs> yeah, I would have rated <laughs> the book was... a lot lower had that been the yeah. case. <laughs> For it sure. was, but it was like it was weird to me the wording of that entire. Uh, section of the book yeah. it seemed very much like Logan was trying to convince Jin mm -hmm. um, to give his fa his so okay his father shows up um, or is coming into town and Jin is insisting or sorry Logan is insisting that um, his father is like there to make sure that Jin is safe yeah and Logan didn't know all the the details of the exile, which we haven't even shared with you. It's very fucked up. Uh, yeah. But he knows the Jin was exiled, so clearly there's bad blood. Um, and eventually they do. So I don't really know why there was like this whole push of he's here to make sure you're okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, clearly the father does not care. Right. And then the father does show up and I'm still under the impression and I was honestly at the time like still kind of under the impression that 
they were going to do a forgive your abusers thing. And um, his father shows up and he's absolutely awful, which is surprising no one. Yeah. Here. No one here. (laughs) (laughs) No one here who read this book. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And Jin kind of stands up for himself. And then Logan is like, see, you're so strong now. You don't believe his lies. And you can tell that I won't either. And it's like, but but you kind of convinced me that you were believing his lies. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I'm glad we agreed so much on this book, though. Like, seriously, (laughs) the second half. Yeah. I like your hot take and how you worded it, for sure. You had me in the first half. (laughs) Yeah, the first half I was just, like, obsessed. Yeah. I was literally sitting downstairs, reading, listening to it, and being like, wow, I am obsessed with Logan. Like, I think Mm -hmm. he is going to be the highest rated lead for me so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And no. But no. Actually. (laughs) Yeah. I'll punch him in the face. (laughs) Yeah, that's like fair. to hit him. Violence, <laughs> violence for Logan. <laughs> violence for Logan. It's good yeah. hashtag. Uh huh. All right, you want to talk about this rating? Yeah, overall rating of the book. All right, <laughs> I think you're up first. <laughs> okay, we both gave him the same. I give it three and a half cat boys out of five. (laughs) And I, too, gave it three and a half cat boys out of five. Now, this is a special shout out. He has left my chat, so I'm going to send him this clip later. But shout out to Hexlord Headass. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You said we had to shout you out every time we use this. So a million shout outs to you. Seven shout outs. (laughs) (laughs) Seven whole shout outs. Seven shout outs for this. (laughs) for this cat boy usage <laughs> um but yeah also if you want to see this is a drawing that adrian did so if you want to see that creation come to life and the funny shenanigans that <laughs> led up to this <laughs> hop on over to his channel and uh take a look at that doodle drawing episode <laughs> thank you it was very for entertaining the... thank you for the promo <laughs> of course <laughs> yeah yeah well, three yeah, and a half out of five cat boys. <laughs> three and a half out of five cat boys. Um, official rating. Let's yes. talk about what we're reading next week. Next week we have Dark Prince by Christine Feehan. Yeah. Again, your fave author. Is this still are we still oh. giving this title to her? <laughs> I mean yeah, mm-hmm. I haven't. I, not, okay. I haven't read any other books from any other authors. That's <laughs> fair. Of, uh, if uh, that changes at any point, you gotta you gotta let this pod know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm like yeah, shocking day. <laughs> I have an important announcement. That's how we cold <laughs> open one time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fair. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. Do you want me to read have... this one, or do you have it? Um, I have it. But okay. if you would like to read it, no, that's all right. Go ahead. You got it. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, we're reading Dark Prince by Christine Feehan. Uh, the first book in the Dark series by Christine Feehan. So, Mikhail Dobrinsky is the prince of his people, the Carpathians. But they are dying out. There are few women and the men are either falling prey to vampires or are choosing the soulless life. Losing all hope, Mikhail is no longer sure he can break the bleak future laid before him. The only thing that can add... Why are you laughing at me? Sorry, my chat. Continue. <laughs> it's not at you. No. <laughs> Sorry. It is broken. <laughs> it's okay. Um, the only thing that can add light to his life, can relieve the terrible, haunting loneliness, is to find a life mate. But he has given up believing one exists. As the beast rages inside, threatening to consume him, he vents his centuries-old despair in anguished cry that fills the waiting night. And then, incredulously, a life-saving voice answers him. Bum bum bum! Dark Prince. (laughs) I'm excited for this one as well. I feel like we're going to have very differing thoughts, maybe, (laughs) on this next one. We shall see. We shall see. 
But yeah, I I'm like excited. we've read a lot of first uh books of like series because that makes sense. Um, mm-hmm. and I always am like, I know like book eighteen is so much better though. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> yes, I feel it. But um, yeah, plug. Yeah, we can do that. No, the reason I was laughing is because Hex Lord Headass has returned. But he just oh. missed it. Oh my god. <laughs> he just god. missed it. So we're going to have to send that clip to our Discord. But I That's guess that fair. does kind of plug our our stuffs. Go for it. Go for your plugs. Go for it. Hello. My name's Adrian. <laughs> this has been a podcast that I'm a part of. Um, <laughs> if you would like to see me draw things and um, play video games occasionally. Go to twitch.tv at Adrian Games um, or check out my link tree slash Adrian Drawful and my Twitter slash Adrian Drawful. Um, we also have a Discord that I will put in chat, in my chat. Unfortunately, I cannot put it in Alyssa's Mine because is I do on not my have a commit. Twitch page. Yeah. Conveniently but, um, located. <laughs> uh, yeah. We come to our Discord, and we never miss us or our friends stream, and um, we make funny jokes sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, only sometimes. <laughs> only sometimes. Yeah. I can't promise all the time. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. I don't know your humor. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh yeah, eighteen plus only. I'm afraid of children. Thank you. <laughs> yes, and mine. Similarly, if you're if you're a child, grow up. I say that every week. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing here? You should not be here. You can find all of my stuff on Linktree slash Nibiru31. Um, this is a new Twitch channel, so if you're here, congratulations. The Twitch channel is now different, and I need to change that on this slide. And I have not done that yet. Oh, whoopsie. Oh, shit. But, yeah, twitch.tv slash XX is the new channel. Um, the Linktree link is correct, so... Just go there and click onto the Twitch channel if you're watching this on YouTube or something. Also, YouTube links are on there. All of my links are on Linktree. That's probably the easiest one. <laughs> but, yeah. That's me. Oh, do you want to talk about um, pirates? Oh, that's fair. Um, our first episode of our pirate campaign airs in four days. Very yeah. excited for that. Yep. Our session zero is up where our character or our players tested their characters out um, for a little spooky Halloween special type of thing with a pop culture monster at the end. I always say that as, as to not ruin it, but it's really, really funny. So yeah, go watch the party fight that in real life type of setting and then uh, tune in in four days to see our actual campaign and Learn about their actual characters and their uh, personalities. Woo! <laughs> that was not always <laughs> you. Another player in the background, and he's very stoked too. <laughs> yes. Um. But yeah, that this has been a podcast, and goodbye, everyone. This has been bye bye. <laughs>